everybody, I hope that you're doing well and welcome back to GROW. Today we're going to report this beautiful Strelitzia Nicolai so we can give her space to grow and remind ourselves to just find some space to pause, breathe and grow. Okay, coming up. You know, I actually really like to take that time to repot my plants when they need it because I know that I'm giving them that space to grow. And if you think about it, we can also use it as an analogy for ourselves. So now let's go step by step on how to repot this beautiful plant so we can give her space to keep growing. The Strelitzia Nicolai grows really quickly, but they actually like the roots to be compressed in the pot. So it is recommended that we repot them every 18 to 24 months, especially in the beginning of the growing season, which is the beginning of spring. Another way to know if your Strelitzia needs repotting is to check the roots. So if you see that the roots are actually coming out of the drainage holes in your pot or circling around the potting mix, this is a very good sign that your plant needs repotting. Since the white bird of paradise likes to be compressed at the roots, I recommend that you don't go so big with the new pot. So maximum you should go one to two sizes bigger than the previous pot. I'm going to be using this pot right here, which is 20 centimeters in diameter, which means that it is one size bigger than the previous pot. And always remember to look for pots that have drainage holes. This will help you prevent overwatering your plant. In terms of body mix, the bird of paradise is super adaptable. So you can use an all-purpose houseplant potting mix. In my case, I actually use my own potting mix and I make it at home. So I usually put two parts perlite, two parts worm castings and seven parts coconut foil. Okay, so now let's get to repotting. The first thing that we will do is to prepare our new pot. I actually like to add this expanded clear pebbles to the bottom because they help with humidity balance as well as drainage. Then we will add some of our potting mix and make a hole in the middle to place our plant. Next we will take our plant out of the pot. So if you feel that your plant is really attached to the soil or the pot, just try to loosen up the soil and then try to pull again. Now we're going to loosen up the soil around the roots and we're going to do it really carefully so we don't damage them. And then we have it, my friends. Josefina is in her new home. Thank you so much for being with me as I report my beautiful Strelitzia. I hope this was useful for you and if you have any tips or any questions, please make sure to comment below so we can all learn together. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Okay, ciao!